afternoon and welcome back to episode four of A Trip to the Moon. I can't believe some of you stuck around for four episodes so far. Since you've been away, Manny Monte has managed to become the club's top scorer, win the most man of the matches and have the highest average rating. And that's after me slagging him off in the last couple of episodes. As you can see there, form has been actually really, really good. We sit fifth in the table at the moment on 17 points, uh, a massive 10 points off the relegation zone, which is really unexpected at this stage. So we followed up last episode's results with a 0-0 draw against Mansfield, which we won on penalties in the Carabao Cup. It seems to be the only way we can win in cup games at the moment. And then a heartbreaking and 1-0 defeat away at Rotherham. I say heartbreaking, we had all the game, we missed a penalty, and Rotherham scored in the last couple of minutes. We followed that up with a penalty win over Crew in the tournament that shall not be named, and I'm glad to see not many Rovers fans turned up for. Then it was on to Gillingham at home, a 3 all draw, it was a disappointing game this one. Gilling were down to 10 men for a significant amount of time and were leading with a couple of minutes to go before we equalised. Then a really unexpected win against Oxford. 2-1, um, Leif Davis was an absolute cracker of a goal in the 84th minute to win it. We battered Peterborough 3-1, I wasn't expecting this. We went 2-0 up in the first half, Peterborough come back and scored in the second half, which normally means that they'll go on to win 3-2. But Corey Blackett-Taylor sealed the win in the 85th minute. And then there was a routine win against Burton. Now, Burton are near the bottom of the league, and we won 1-0. It was a really quite disappointing performance, but we, we ground it out. And then we went to Bournemouth in the Carabao Cup, and they absolutely annihilated us in the second half. It was one all at half-time. Um, Josh Clark had equalised, and we even let Dominic Solanke score. That's how bad it was. The second half, we just went at the races. So we move on to today's game against Ipswich Town. It's away from home. It'll be a really tricky game. They're one of the stronger teams in the league. And we're facing our old friend James Norwood. So this is the team we have selected. There's a couple of changes in there. Um, Potter's going to keep his place. He seems to be really, really good in the deep line playmaker role. And his fitness isn't too bad. He's got the most assists so far. Vaughan is continuing up top. Although his form hasn't been great. I'm tempted to put Morgan Ferrier in. Josh Clark is continuing on the right wing. His form has really, really picked up the last couple of games there. If you look at the last five games, he's on a 7.18. Before that, he was well, well below that. Um, Blacker Taylor on the other wing, who's chipped in with a few goals so far. Um, Woodard as ever, protecting the back. There's been a change in defence. Peter Clark's coming for Sid Nelson. Um, the coaches reported that M Monte and um, Nelson couldn't play well together. So I brought in Clark for a bit of experience along Monte. Now Monte is going forward, it's fantastic. His defending still hasn't been great. And then we have Davis left back and Woods right back with Scott Davis in goal. Well, who else are going to put in goal? Quick look at the lineups here. You can see James Norwood is on the bench for them. And they're even more defensive than I am, which is um, a bit of a worry. I do expect to get absolutely battered here. On to the dressing room. Uh, Mike Jackson suggesting we get them to prove a point. I don't think I'm going with that one, though. I've instead told the players that they're underdogs. Um, it doesn't seem to have done much. They've listened keenly, but at least they're not angry with me. So we're going to hit kickoff here and go straight into the match. Okay, so early doors, not much is happening. Uh, I'm actually going to change the team instructions and tell him to shoot on sight. No, he said something else then. One shot each. This is a highly boring first half so far. In fact, I'd like, I wouldn't mind keeping it that way. If which are behind us in the league, I think. Uh, yes, a place behind us, one point behind us. So a draw here would be really, really good. I'm not expecting to stay in the playoffs all season. This is the first real test we've had. Of course, it's across the box and we haven't dealt with it, but well held by Davis. Uh, that wasn't the best of kickouts from him either. The highlight continues. I'm hoping this will be us on the attack. It is. Black and Tyler's got the ball. He skipped past one. Into Woodyard, into Potter. Back to Woodyard. Clark, Walker. Davis on the back. Poor cross. Clark's got, oof, hit the post, it was a good shot. So, well, the first decent highlight's gone through us, so we seem to be doing okay. Again, we're down on shots, but possession's not too far off. Another highlight here, looks like it's us on the attack again. Possible with the ball, it's into the box, and we hit the post again. I don't think you can come any closer than that. Free kick to us as well. It seems to be all us with the main highlights, so he seems to be having all the better chances. But nil-nil at half-time, we, we can't really complain at that, we're not expected to do well here, so 
if we can keep it that tight and kick up a point, it's another one towards surviving relegation. Again, Mike Jackson has asked us to prove a point, but I'm not going to go with that. I'm going to say we've been unlucky so far, because I think we have. It's a motivator for a few of us, so let's into the second half. I'm hoping for a quiet half, to be honest. I don't want to see them attacking anymore. Okay, crossing from Davis, doesn't come too much. Clark out to Woods. Woods goes close to the shot from outside the box. Again, these highlights are mainly us. And we actually scored. Peter Clark back in the team. First goal of the season. Excellent start to the first, second half there. Another good ball is the box from Walker. Uh, we see we seem to be scoring a majority of our goals from headers, from set pieces. That's Clark now, but it was at Monte earlier on in the season. Um, I, I'm going to make a sub here. I'm going to take off Vaughan and bring on Ferrier. I think Ferrier deserves his chance. He's got a lot of potential. I'm going to play him as an advance forward. We are continuing to tell him to shoot on sight. But I am going to tell him to start time-wasting a lot more. Sometimes, even though Scott Davis is like with time-wasting, he will time-waste for days. And we're going to be more disciplined as well. Um, and maybe not be so direct so the ball doesn't come straight back at us. Woods with the throw to Potter. Woods again. Are we giving the ball away? No, it's back with us. Clark. Potter again. Woods on the overlap again. Get that to the ball into the box. See, so we're giving the ball. That's what I'm afraid of. We're hitting the break now, even though we're playing defensively. Doesn't come so much though. No, it is on the pitch though. I'm just hoping he doesn't score. There we are. Donassian. He did play for us at one point. I'm not too impressed with the conceded to the right back though. Let's see if we can hold on for the point though. Usually that would signal that we're we might concede again, but we'll bring up Blacker Tyler here. Taylor I keep saying Tyler, I'm sorry. Taylor here for Kieran Morris. Um, and Darren Potter is tiring, so I'm gonna bring on I'm going to bring on Neil Downs, and Neil Downs is a ball winning midfielder, and then we'll change up Liam Walker to be the playmaker. Hopefully fresh legs will help. Um, Woods is actually struggling as well, so I'm going to bring Woods off here. I'm going to have to change for Josh Clark, and then, yeah, Josh Clark can play back there. Callum Woods, then, oh, we can't actually make any more subs, I'll do. Someone could have told me to have made all three subs already. Well, Clark and Woods are really struggling now. If we just hold on to the points, I'd be really pleased the points away from home here. And there we have it, a really good point away from home at Ipswich. Uh, we've had quite a few shots there, a lot more than I thought, only two on target. But we did have a, the lion's share of chances in the game. Um, again, possession isn't too far off, so I'm really, really pleased with that performance. For once, I actually agree with Mike Jackson. I do appreciate the efforts. Okay, squad is delighted with that. That moves us up to fourth in the table. I'm really not expecting to stay there. If you look at the teams around us, Portsmouth and Rotherham have beaten us. We did manage to beat Peterborough, uh, which was surprising. We played really well there. But I do expect to start tumbling down the league once we play some of the better teams. A quick look at our monthly performance review. Uh, we're coming in at an A+, which is really, really good. I'm a bit concerned that they are worried about losing to Bournemouth and Rotherham. Rotherham game was a 1-0 and Bournemouth are playing against Premier League side away from home at full strength. So I'm not sure why they're concerned with that. Looking at the squad dynamics as well. The squad dynamics are really, really good. The atmosphere in the dressing room is improving and the support for me from the players is very good. As we move into the Shrewsbury game, I'm just looking at the table. They're sitting 20th. I like to turn Prenton Park into a bit of a fortress when I'm playing, so... I'd like to win this game or at least come away with a draw. I do think Shrewsbury is sitting in a false position and they should be starting heading back up the league. But we'll see how this goes. This is the lineup for today's game. I brought Ferry in for Vaughan. I just don't think Vaughan's been performing. He has scored a few goals, but the last few games he's been anonymous. And Ferry has got bags of potential there that he needs to start to realise. He's 24 now. He's worth 300k. His pace is pretty good. He's 15 for pace, 15 acceleration. Just concerned about his finishing. Um, his strengths are reasonably good as well. He's a 14, so hopefully he can play up front on his own there. The rest of the team is, remains the same. I'm going to keep Peter Clark in ahead of Nelson. Um, Clark played well in his last game and scored a goal. Quick look at the lineups then. They have gone very, very defensive. This could be a boring game. A um, few Tramia links in there as well. Ollie Norburn obviously played for Tramia in the conference. Played well before forcing a move out under a bit of a cloud. 
They have Caprice, who signed for us in pre-season. Callum Lang, and if you believed any of the rumours on the cowsheds, we were after him all pre-season, but didn't pick him up. And Omar Beckles have been really, um, linked to Tramia on a number of occasions. I'm going to go with Mike Jackson's recommendation here. I'm going to encourage the team. They didn't need encouraging, obviously. And we'll head into the game. Game started there. We're 30 seconds in. I forgot to hit record. I was eating a pot noodle. And we've got the first chance, which has sailed over the bar. I'm not expecting a lot of chances here, to be honest. With if you have one player up front each and nobody really helping attack. Possibly with a free kick. It's close. Ferry, was that Ferry or Follow? It was. Another corner. And we're getting a lot of joy out of these corners with Monte and now Clark at the back. Oof, and just over the bar. We've had four shots to their zero so far, two on target. They've had the first one there. Um, it's 50 50 possession. Another corner for us. And now, oof, that, that went in. That, that definitely hit the net. You can definitely see that net bulge. I get the feeling we're going to get FM'd here. We're going to have all the chances and they'll score with their only one. Time ticks away in the first half. A couple of bookings there for our defenders. Need to keep an eye on that. Okay, nil nil at half time. We'll go into the dressing room and see what we should say. Mike Jackson says we should encourage the team again. Um, I say we're the better team here because we have been the better team. Again, no real reaction from the players. We'll keep an eye on some performances. Liam Walker isn't playing too well, and Blacker Taylor's having an awful game. So we maybe get those off next. Is this a penalty? Oh, Monty getting sent off. What's he been sent off for there? Um, what do we do here? We're going to sacrifice... Walker's not been playing well, so I'm going to bring on Nelson for Walker. Where are we? Sid Nelson. Sid Nelson, go there. We're going to bring Woodyard here. Uh, I'm playing as box-to-box -box midfielder, to the preferred role anyway. That's a significant loss for goal-scoring-wise. Goal Monte has scored most of our goals. So... It'd be interesting to see what he got sent off for. It was from a corner. Well, he must have pushed the player or punched him. I don't know. Okay, with 10 men, we're going to go for a bit more defensive. We're going to go to team instructions. We're going to be wasting an awful lot of time. Shoot on sight. Hit early crosses. And be very disciplined. I'd be happy to take a draw out of this. But they still haven't had a highlight. So, like I said, it'd be, it'd be just like football manager for us to concede. And there we go. Goal from miles out. I think Davis should be doing a lot better there. That was awful goalkeeper. Um, we don't really deserve this defeat. I suppose we're due a defeat. But he's punched that into his own net. So that's, that's really poor. I mean, even if he palmed that out there, three players offside. This is even a goal down. We'll go positive. Um, Leif Davis is having a poor game as well. I haven't really got anyone to bring on for him. Um, Ferrier hasn't really... Sean, but again, we're now down to 10 men, so it'd be difficult to do that. So I'll bring on Bourne for Ferrier and see if we can get anything out of this game. Very attacking. Not a single highlight. Come on. Well, there we go. First defeat for a while. A bit disappointed. We, I, I think we, we would have won that had we had kept 10 men on the pitch. But unfortunately... Monte got sent off. Be interested to see what he got sent off for in after the match. Uh, Mike Jackson says we should be disappointed. We are disappointed in this game. Well, he says there, and most of them seem motivated. I am disappointed in losing that game. We should have won. Looking at the table there, we dropped down to seventh. I'm still pleased with where we are on the table, to be honest. We are still a good 10 points clear of the relegation zone. I do think Burton might go down this season. Accrington and Bristol Rovers should be there, thereabouts. AFC Wimbledon as well. If we can stay ahead of the of these type of teams, we will stay up. Again, we'll strengthen in the summer. So just had a look at the sending off again there. Seems he was sent off for a deliberate handball in the box. So fair enough. He is going to be a big miss in the next couple of games. Where he's been playing really well and he's scored quite a few goals. So I have to bring Nelson in for him. What we'll do then is play a few games offline. I think we'll go down to that FA Cup first round type. Don't know what the draw is yet. I'm hoping for an easy enough game. 
the FA Cup money at lower league is really, really good. So if we can get through a couple of rounds there, it might free up some money to bring somebody in in January. So we'll come back for that FA Cup game in Coventry. If you are enjoying this, please like, comment and subscribe. Um, hopefully as it goes on, I get a bit more confidence in front of the microphone. I might install a camera at some point, but they actually can't get them on Amazon at the moment because they're all sold out and there's no data them coming back in. So again, if you did like that, like, subscribe, comment below. Any suggestions, any tips are welcome. Um, and I'll see you all again tomorrow.